Hello, BookTube. In addition to being a sexy BookTube influencer, I am also something of a Giga Chad life coach, as many of you will know. <laughs> and as a result, I get questions. People email me questions all the time, on all the time, on all sorts of subjects uh, that we're going to group under the heading of Dear King Tentacle. <laughs> and I have two of those for you today that I thought would be interesting to look at. I will, we're going to do two of them at the same time. Uh, first question, uh, Dear King Tentacle, you always say you're confused by why we watch your channel, which I love, BTW. BTW is a Twitter abbreviation for By The Way that started when we were under very strict 120 character limitations on that website. We aren't anymore, and in written and normal speech, we aren't under character limitations anyway. Strong piece of advice. Get that kind of stuff out of your written text. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I appreciate the note of love. Uh, and my question is, why does this confuse you? I subscribe to plenty of booktube channels, but the ones I watch without fail are you, MKV. Now, <laughs> in, in this case, that is an abbreviation that's acceptable because Michael K. Vaughn, who is certainly what's being referred to here, that's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> so in this case, BTW is not acceptable, but MKV is. Uh, Ollie and Sarah. Now, I'm assuming here that Ollie refers to uh, Criminali and that Sarah refers to Sarah at the Bookish Knitter. And boy, oh boy, if I'm right about, I mean, MKV can only be one person, but, and Ollie too, I would imagine, and Sarah. But if I'm right about that grouping, the identities of those names, if I had a dime for every time I have heard some variation on you're the four channels I watch first, or most, or even sometimes only, uh, well, if I had that many dimes, I wouldn't be... Uh, so disappointed by my Patreon. <laughs> That's, I've heard that sentiment a lot of times. Uh, I don't have anything to say about it except how complimentary it is. I must be doing something right. <laughs> but actually, all four of us must be doing something right. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so anyway, the, the, the ones I watch without fail are you, MKV, uh, Ollie, and Sarah. I don't have any bookish friends in my life, and when I watch your videos, I feel like I'm talking with a bookish friend. Why is that confusing? Well, I don't say that it's confusing in the, in the case of those other three, <laughs> but but in my own channel, it's it's I, I realize there's freedom, right? Hi, baby. Uh, but most of the time, there's there's this this crapulent old man who's just sort of nattering to himself. <laughs> I'm immensely grateful for it, uh, but. Again, that grouping and also this question seems to me to, to point all sorts of ominous indicating arrows at what the actual number of a channel's subscriber count does and doesn't mean. Uh, but, but nevertheless, it is confusing to me because this, this channel seems to me to be composed of lots and lots of talk about books that aren't out yet, so you can't possibly have read them, or... Tons and tons of in-jokes derived from 1960s musicals. <laughs> but if it's working for you, it's certainly working for me. Uh, then we'll move on to the next question here. For We'll have a, a double header for Dear King Tentacle. Uh, Dear King Tentacle, you promised that you would make David Murphy return to BookTube, and he only made a couple of videos before he disappeared again. If you don't get this done, I will retaliate by subscribing to your channel. <laughs> People know me so well. <laughs> but, uh, first of all, I, I, so this is not actually a question, but in, in response to this subject, I would say, first of all, that I don't have the ability to make anybody do anything. Uh, otherwise, as mentioned, my poor struggling little Patreon would look a lot different. <laughs> I look at, at channels with 600 subscribers who spend the first five minutes of every video thanking the row upon row upon row upon row of patrons that they have. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so A, there's that. But also, uh, B, I have suggested to David many times that he should return to BookTube. He has indicated to me that occasionally the thought does cross his mind. I'm guessing that there's something organic going on here. And, and it's, a, it's an organic process that I've mentioned a few times before, but uh, really isn't anybody's fault, much as I would like to blame David. <laughs> it's really not anybody's fault. Sometimes the, the phase 
the concentration, the factors that make you interested in book two shifts. Sometimes it does. There's nothing that can be done about that. It hasn't happened to me yet. Uh, I still look forward every day to talking to my imaginary booktube friends. I still look forward to the much vaunted booktube community. All these different things that people are doing, whether I'm participating or not, I still look forward to that every bit as much as I did, you know, back in 2016. Uh, but some people they go through a phase and then they just they just don't feel it anymore. And also, some it sometimes happens that you will fall out of the habit of booktube and find it really hard to fall back in. It's when you are a booktube video maker, you, that's a little bit of time. The, you've got to, you've got to reopen the space for that commitment to sit down and make videos, to think about them. It's amazing. I've heard this from a great many people who've left the platform. It's amazing how quickly that space fills in with other stuff. Uh, it could very well be that uh, David has a, an interesting personal life doesn't seem particularly likely <laughs> but it could be <laughs> um, anyway i've done what i can uh but i can't make anybody do anything so so there you go two dear king tentacle questions for the price of one uh and i will wait we will do another one of these in a few days <laughs> thank you too